Now, if you've been struggling to stick to your diet and therefore struggling to get the results that you want and maintain them, there are three key things that we need to focus on, maintain in terms of mindset and in terms of action in order to actually get those results and then keep them for life. Because let's face it, diet can be quite complicated or at least it can seem quite complicated because there are so many different options out there. So over the next few minutes, I'm just going to share with you guys the three key principles that we need to adhere to when undertaking or trying to get on with any particular diet. Now, what I mean is some of you might be trying keto, some might be trying paleo, some may be vegetarian or vegan and so on. And of course, there are hundreds, if not thousands of different diets. There's even my own method, the metabolic meal method and so on. There are lots of different ways to get results. Now, if you'd like a copy of my metabolic meal method, all you have to do is drop a comment below just saying the word metabolic, and I will get that sent over to you as quickly as I can. And if you're unsure of who I am, my name is Tyrone Bray, and I'm the founder of Stronger Than Life Coaching, where I help busy entrepreneur fathers who want to burn off at least 10 to 20 pounds in the next 10 to 12 weeks without having to sacrifice their business and without having to do hours and hours of cardio every single day. Now, as I mentioned, if we are starting a diet and we, we want to lose the weight and we want to get our body back and so on, and we want to feel fit, strong, healthy, so that we have more confidence and energy and so on, there are three key things that we need to do. Now, I call them the three Ps. I'm just going to adjust my camera slightly here so it doesn't lose focus. Now, unfortunately, you're going to have to excuse the bright light across the middle, but it's called the three Ps. Now, this makes it easy for us to remember for a start, but also, it just gives us a way to, to think when we're looking at, okay, well, I'm about to try this new diet. It turns out in the past, I've struggled to diets and so on. They're either too restrictive or require too much of me, or I just don't like it. So what we need to do is go, okay, well, I'm going to try this new diet, whether my diet or somebody else's. The first thing that we need to have is a mindset shift. Now, what I mean is we need to exercise patience. Okay. Now, I don't mean be patient, your results might take months, years, and so on. There is a, a potential for that, of course. But what I mean more so is we often need patience with ourselves. Because the catch that we have is quite often we go into these diets expecting that we can be perfect from day one. And then when we make a mistake or things don't go to plan or we have to eat off plan, what tends to happen is we get pissed off with ourselves, pissed off with the diet, and we throw it all out. We hit the fuck it button and we go, nah, bunch of bullshit, it doesn't work, rubbish, it's too stressful, it's too this, it's too that. And we make excuses or find reasons as to why we can't continue to follow through, even though whether the perfect diet or not, it probably would have gotten you the results that you want, or at least close to them, if you were to follow through. So the first thing that we need to do is have patience, yeah, with the diet, yeah, with the results, but mostly with ourselves, whilst we build this new skill set in order to continue to apply this new diet to our to our lifestyle, sorry, uh, yeah, apply this new diet to our lifestyle so that we can continue to do it and get results in the long run and not just stop, start, stop, start and constantly be pissed off and annoyed with ourselves and losing trust because we keep falling off the bandwagon. So that's the first one, patience. Now, P number two is protein. Now, if you have seen any of my videos on nutrition before, you will know that I'm a big advocate of protein. And anybody that knows what they're talking about regarding nutrition should also be an advocate of protein. Now, when we say protein, we're referring to the likes of meats, fish, eggs, dairy, nuts, seeds, maybe even legumes and things like that are good sources of protein. They are, they are foods that tend to be higher in, in protein, and therefore they're going to provide the building blocks that we need to help us repair from any physical activity that, that we're going to be doing alongside the diet. So although we're here to kind of guarantee dietary success, we need to make sure that we're repairing from anything physical by making sure that, the, that we're bringing on adequate resources, adequate raw materials, et cetera, for our body to rebuild and repair. Now, the other advantage with protein is it's going to help with satiety. It takes longer for us to break down proteins and essentially to run it from mouth to anus. So therefore, it tends to help with satiety. Because it takes longer to break down, it also helps increase metabolism because we burn more calories breaking down and utilizing protein. So naturally, we get a metabolism boost, which helps us to obviously ensure we hit our fat loss targets. Now, the other thing that it's good for 
is maintaining muscle mass because when we are training, etc., and potentially even eating less calories than we were before, there is always a risk that with our weight loss or our fat loss, we might lose lean mass as well. So by making sure we've got adequate protein on board, that makes it much more likely for us to be able to follow through and obviously to not lose lean mass when we are on these lowered calories and doing more exercise and more movement than we were prior. Now, in terms of, well, well, how much? You said more protein, Ty, but how much should I have? I would recommend as a way to get started, you have two palm-sized portions per main meal. So that's the size and the thickness of your palm, two palm-sized portions per main meal. So I'll just write that in here, two palms. Cool. So two palm-sized portions per main meal, as in main meal, breakfast, lunch, dinner. That will make sure that you're getting enough protein and that saves you having to kind of weigh and measure and do I need specific amounts of grams and all the rest of it. Unless you're get, try, planning to get on a stage or you've got a cut weight for a fight and things like that, you don't need to worry about any of that. Most of us aren't. We're just general public and we're looking to have a good body. We want to be fit, lean, strong, healthy and so on. So we don't need to worry about weighing and measuring just approximately size and thickness of your palm is perfect. Now, P number three is performance. Now, what I mean by that is hopefully alongside our dietary changes, we're going to be doing some form of physical activity, like we were just saying. That's why we want protein to repair from that. But with our physical activity, what we're also going to want to do, as well as just do the exercise or the training or going to the gym or whatever it might be, we need to make sure that we are pushing for progress in our performance. What this means is every single week, we're looking to get better by one to 3%. This could be in terms of how much weight you lift. It could be in terms of the number of repetitions. It could be reduced rest periods. It could even just be, actually, I wasn't or I didn't feel strong enough this week to lift more, but what I did instead was made sure my technique was better. So we're looking for an improvement, something that will stimulate the body to get better in some way, because by constantly pushing for performance, our body is forced to have to adapt. It's forced to need to maintain muscle mass, to build muscle mass, to burn more fat, to expend more calories and so on, because of these adaptive processes that are looking to go on and obviously keep you healthy, keep you thriving and getting better. So we intentionally seek improved performance in the gym. Then because when we're doing that, we're breaking down tissue, etc., in the body, we need to make sure we're repairing from that. So we have adequate protein. And then we understand that this isn't a process that we can necessarily get perfect from day one. So what we need to do around this is have a mindset set around patience. I'm going to be patient enough with myself and give myself the grace needed to understand that I won't be perfect from day one. I might miss an odd workout accidentally. I might have to fuck up on a meal or I might be out and I'm in a restaurant and I can't eat perfectly on plan and things like that. It's not about being perfect. As cliche as it sounds, it's about progress. So that's what we want. There's another few Ps for you there. Look. So patience, protein, and performance. These are the three steps that we need in order to guarantee success with any single diet that we choose to do. Now, as I mentioned to you guys, if you'd like a copy of my metabolic meal method, completely free of charge, just drop the comment metabolic below and I will reach out to you and get that sent over to you either in the DMs or if it were on a different platform that doesn't have DMs, then I'll just drop the link there for you so that you can go and download, download it completely free of charge. Now, as I mentioned, when you even utilize my diet, like I was saying before, we still want to emphasize these three Ps. We still want to be patient both with the process, okay, well, these are the things required of me in the diet, this many size portions of this, that, and the other. So that's going to take me a little while to get used to. And then also accept and acknowledge, well, yeah, there are going to be days where I don't manage to get this perfect, but that doesn't matter. What matters is, am I striving to be better? And over time, are things improving? And am I getting the results that I want? Often we can get really quick results, obviously, if we take really big action. The catch that we have to kind of acknowledge, though, is that sometimes if the action is too large, we can't maintain it. So then we get annoyed or frustrated when we can't maintain it. And then we get even more demotivated when we realize, oh, I can't maintain it. So therefore, I can't maintain this. Sorry, can't maintain the same level of result for an extended period of time. So have patience, 
eat plenty of protein and strive for improved performance. And that will guarantee your success with any particular diet that you choose to use. Thanks for watching, people. I appreciate you all being here. Any questions, drop them below. And if not, I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Take it easy.